Hey guys, Remote Animation here and in this video I'll be showing you how I made this short animation without any PC software, just my phone and the mobile app Recon 4D which is available on the Google Play Store. But just to clear things up, the version I have now hasn't been released yet so there might be some visual differences between this and what you have on your end. Anyways, to get the project started, the first thing we are going to need are some models. And since this isn't a modeling tutorial, we are clearly not going to make those ourselves. So this is Sketchfab, the site that has basically any model that you could need. But for this project, we just need one garage and a Lexus LC500 5 liter V8 engine 471 horsepower car model because it looked really decent. Then after downloading both models, we went ahead to import them into Recon, starting with the car model but as you can see, it didn't really import the colors right. So we had to detach some parts of the model so we can color them separately. Because for this project, we were going for the red design that we saw in the reference. And after changing the color for most parts of the car, we run it through the render engine to check if the emissive parts actually glow properly, which they did so when we went straight to importing the garage model but the scale didn't really match up properly so we had to increase the size of the car. It was all starting to come together but it didn't really look the way I wanted because of the reflection. And to solve that issue, I just imported a skybox that closely resembled our scene to get the reflections right. So after applying it, it didn't really look right but it was a lot better than before. Yet the light placement in the scene wasn't really helping matter so I brought it to the front where I thought it would look better and from what we can see that actually helped a lot. So from that point I moved straight to animating as all I needed from the first shot was just the camera to move slightly closer to the car from behind. Then I added a flickering light to the background of the scene to add some life to the shot. So for the next clip all we need is the camera to move over the side of the car with the reflection of the scene showing in the window which was exactly why I had to use a skybox texture as screen space reflections can't pull this off. So the next shot is just the camera moving over the front of the car but it looks a little too plain so we had to modify the interpolation a bit so that the animation starts off fast then slows down towards the end. As the first shot is just an overhead view of the car as we didn't really do much here so this is what the entire animation looks like up to this point but I didn't really appreciate what the floor looks like so I decided to swap it out with a reflective film. Then it didn't really make much of a difference but it did look slightly better. Then after that I tiled the texture a few times to fix the texture stretching problem and I was actually starting to like how everything was coming together but I had something in mind for the final shot that, that involves using the depth of field but I couldn't quite get it to work maybe it's a bug or something but it just kept blurring the entire shot so I decided to just animate the camera to slowly zoom into the car to end the animation. Then I added all the finishing touches and after almost an hour of work and slightly over an hour of rendering this is the final result.